Good afternoon world. Story is doing her simply piano practice. She's currently learning how to play Hallelujah, which is quite a difficult song. It is. So while Story's busy with her simply piano practicing, we just wanted to give a little update on where some of the funds have gone that were raised through our 8 Mile supporters page. As you guys know, we went over to the mainland to pick up chainsaws and solar lights and while we were there, our Ate Mary Jane said, don't worry, we found better sources in Manila. So they were delivered directly to the island and in Constellation, there was a big high quality chainsaw sent there where they are now using that to cut the cocoa lumber to build their church. Yes, so, they're so, already being well used. Yes. <laughs> and obviously what's the church has finished anyone else that needs to benefit from the timbers they will move on to that so I'm really pleased that that has actually been implemented yeah. and it's thanks to you guys it was also possible to supply eight barangays eight towns in our local area with 25 solar lights and these are kind of big mm. solar lights you know they, they can light up a street it's not just a little one like no. for one room thing it they're being heavy yeah. duty solar lights that were able to go to eight of our neighboring villages yeah it was nice to see the photographs of the barangay captains putting them up pretty much straight away yeah. they're really excited to get them up there because these places are still without light so as soon as it gets past 6 p.m yeah. nobody can see anything on the streets so to give solar light to those places is a massive massive boost so once again huge thank you to everybody who sent money supporting Shargal during these times it really does make a massive difference yeah absolutely hi today i'm gonna play a song on simply and it's called sifting sound to capital cities cities so i'm gonna play the full song for you to all watch on the camera I love watching and listening Story practicing her keyboard. It's so nice to see her really enjoying something. She often comes and just asks for my phone so she can go and do her simply practice. And she is getting really good at doing it. reading the notes on the app it's not like a child's app this is a full like adult style music lesson and she's really taking it on she can read music notes which is amazing and we're actually both doing it I've been doing some simply too <laughs> Ooh, did you get three stars yeah yeah I tried another one and we're both on the same course now and probably not too long and story will overtake me i'm fully aware of that and i'm happy for that to happen so it's been two months of practicing because story obviously got the keyboard for her birthday from my dad story's granddad that was his gift for her and we didn't play for a whole month after the storm so it's actually been two months of practicing so i think story's doing superbly <laughs> It's a fast one, isn't it? Yeah, and, and maybe I could do my own thing. There's, it's quite sh uh, long and I would like to show you it. Okay. But it's for my own. Your own okay. song? Okay. That's very nice. Did you make that up? Well. <laughs> so this is the first video we've made ever since switching to fully solar powered house here. We've been testing the system hard and I can honestly say I am amazed at how seamless the transaction is over from grid power to solar power. We can use everything. Yeah, I agree. It is it is better than I had thought it would be. All right, we've been having a bit of vlogging fail today, haven't we, with the camera. We tried to go back to our camera. All the batteries aren't working. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so we're back on my phone again. So here we go, back to the vlog. So we were just talking about solar and how amazing it is. It is better than what we both thought it was going to be. It's better than the grid. 
because we can actually run all of our air conditioners at the same yeah. time now without having any circuit failures or anything. Yeah, so for an example, this is like a normal day. We've been at home all day as well. So we've been using power. The air conditioner is on. The light is on because it's actually been really rainy today. We've had like three or four big kind of raining moments. <laughs> I had a 20 minute hot shower with a pressure pump. Jay likes her long shower. Yeah, and that uses a lot of power. Yeah. And yeah, I've, we're about to use the coffee machine. Yeah, I've already well. made a coffee. So we've used the coffee machine already today. We've got a light on, Netflix has been on. Yeah. We've got stuff charging. We've used the computer. Um, what else? Just like, that. Just general, like, you know, that like general being at home. Yeah, you don't have to think about it. Yeah. That's what's so good about the system we've got anyway. It's like, it runs like you would just have your electricity running. Yeah, that's um, what I was worried about, you know, like it, we'd get it and then it would be like, oh, we have to watch everything, you know, we have to really be watching the battery and turning stuff off constantly, but it's not like that, or it hasn't been like that at all, no. which is amazing. So we'll show you what we look at every day. Yeah. So this is the kind of, this is how much battery. So we're 99% charged on the battery. The house is using 1.04 kilowatts, but we're harvesting. Oh, it just went down. 1.14. One <laughs> I mean, look at the time changing. as well. It's 20 past three, so we're at the end of yeah. the sunny shine moments of the day. Yeah. And earlier today, we were drawing in like three to four kilowatts. And what's really great about it is, let's say, for example, in the nighttime, the battery drops down to like 40%, 30%. If you have one hour of sunshine or one and a half hours in the morning, the thing will be pretty much fully charged in that time. And then it stays 99% until the sun goes down. So we know every night we can watch TV until midnight. We can have the air conditioner running all night and it's still going. And it's just like, well, I'm blown away by the technology. So I'm about to make a espresso for me and Jay for our afternoon and I think Jay's going to show you what happens when you turn on like an appliance or something. So every time you turn on an appliance you can see live what difference it makes. So this was on one kilowatt and you can see that it just jumped up like another 900 watts while the thing's pumping through. So only for that amount of time would it stay on. As soon as the coffee's made, it will drop back down to what the house is currently using. And as you can see, again, like we're generating 1.83 at the moment and only using 0.24 from the battery. And there's zero grid. That's what that X is for. That goes off, kilowatts drop down. And then also another thing I've noticed is when the battery is 99 to 100%, the solar panels actually show that they're harvesting less power because I guess they have to hold back because the battery's already full, it's got no grid to export to at the moment. So you might actually be getting a lot higher than that if you use more appliances. And to prove to you, we weren't just making coffee noises in the background. Look, <laughs> two espressos have actually been made on solar power. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It really is. And also I'm going to be using the oven for the first time today. Yeah, oh, actually, we didn't say, but before storm, you know, we threw everything in the cupboards. We gave it like a wipe down. We went away and everything. And we were worried that all of our electrical appliances, like the coffee machine, the oven, the blender, juicer, it would all be gone, you know, because they all got blasted. The whole kitchen was just covered in seawater and salty water and grass and everything, you know. So I got all of this out yesterday and today I've been kind of getting the kitchen back up and running again and happy to report all of the appliances work. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't lose one of them. Yes, we did. What? The TV. Oh, yeah. Okay, is that a, that's not a kitchen appliance. Okay, but with the one <laughs> thing that just got destroyed of everything yeah. that we had was the, the TV. The TV yeah. died, yeah. yeah. Poor thing. It turned on, it just went... Pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have a new TV now. Yes. But, yeah, I'm going to be using the oven for the first time because Story's requested a roast dinner. So I'm going to be doing roast potatoes, roast carrots and things like that. Um, yeah, it's so exciting. The one thing that you will notice as well, though, this does make a noise. Once it's under heavy load, you can hear that. It's like a computer fan turns on, lasts for a few minutes, and then it goes off again. So if that was to be something that would really annoy you, then you would have to put your inverter inside a cupboard or somewhere in your house where you didn't hear it all the time. But for me, 
I'm totally fine with that. We can introduce you to our new TV. It's pretty much exactly the same as our old TV, but it's just a few inches bigger. And of course, this one is ours. We bought this one and we gave the other one back to our landlady. So maybe she can have it repaired. And what are you up to right now, Story? I'm doing the calendar. Yeah, we haven't changed the date yet, have we? No, I, I'm, still, I'm still wondering. Yeah. I, I'm looking for Sunday. Yeah. But yes, because it's Sunday we're filming this, isn't right it? there. There you go. Look at that beautiful almond milk twirl that Sasha's just put in. <laughs> So I think the only adjustment to life I would say would be if you're going to use mega watt appliances like this oven, do it while the sun's still out so yeah. that you don't have any battery problems later in the day. We haven't come across any of that issue as of yet, but it's just a thought, you know, if you're going to cook, do the stuff when the sun's yeah. out, you know, otherwise you're going to be relying heavily on your storage. Yeah. And also design your system so that you know you're going to have enough. Like we went for more than what we thought we needed just in case. And because of that, I feel totally relaxed, stress-free. I'm never worried about things being left on, that yeah. kind of stuff. Like we do turn off things more than we used to, like lights and stuff. We don't just leave them on if we're not using them. You know, if we're in the room, I'm going around turning off the lights and stuff if we're not in there. <laughs> Which is weird though, isn't it? Because you're kind of on free energy now. Yeah. You would think, oh, it's fine. I'll just leave the lights on all day. I won't yeah. care about but it. But then I'm thinking like, oh, for the evening, like, oh, I don't want to like rinse the battery down and then we can't watch a film or something. <laughs> but while the sun is out, yeah. the battery doesn't go below 99%. Yeah. And so also, I don't know if you've already said this, but it's it's been really kind of cloudy and rainy yeah. today. It yeah. hasn't really been sunny. This is the sunniest part of the day. And yeah. It's like gone 3 p.m. So once it hits summertime, it's going to be like you would not have to even think about it. As soon as the sun comes up, five o'clock in the morning, you're yeah. good. So our solar journey is going very well. And outside, I'll give you an update on what's going on here. We have some contractors working at the moment. They are also using our solar power so that they can do this. Look, we have a new dirty kitchen. It's been built. This actually went up in about, I don't know, a day and a half. So fantastic, we've got shelter out here. The washing machine can go back where it was. Also, Papang's garage now has a roof. And just behind that, you can see that our roof is being fitted too, to the garage where we put our cars. The guest house is making big progress as well. We now have a roof on that too. So the traditional Nipah roof has been replaced with this new steel type. We asked for a brown finish, so it actually looks very nice. And it'll be interesting to see how it's all fit together on the inside because the panels on the inside of the roof also need to be replaced because of the water leaks and all the damage that we had during the storm. We had a long chat with Papang about what we're gonna do about the water system come up with a plan. We're not going to use the water tank here just yet. We're going to actually upgrade the water pumps instead so that they'll be running on solar and that way we won't have to worry so much about whether or not we have the tank or not. Because before it was a case that if the power went out nobody would have any water but because we've got a constant supply of energy now we could just run all of the houses off of our solar. So I'm interested to see how that all works out. I drove the Butchmobile for the first time today, put it here, but it definitely needs some maintenance. As soon as the roof goes up on our garage, I'm going to put the cars in there and spend a couple of days just working through them and see what needs to be replaced, what can be done. I want to just kind of take control of our situation here. Ever since the storm, it's been very important to me to kind of understand where our limitations are and just be in control of our own life, our safety, our forward movement and kind of being my own mechanic has been part of my journey for a long time especially because we have less choice of places to take things to be repaired these days this is what the inside is looking like interior roof is going on making progress it's super windy out here right now big waves but it's looking quite beautiful i just wanted to show you as well that these windows are actually going to be replaced with UPVC in a few weeks time. So I'm really looking forward to that because the one problem we've got right now is at night time, these windows are still broken. We are getting a lot of wind noise coming through the broken gaps on there and it still kind of feels a bit stormy, which is not nice. 
when you go to sleep at night or when you can't sleep at night because of it. <laughs> I've done my best to try and limit what happens here, but we've got like just a piece of cardboard under this to try and seal the gap. And I went outside earlier and I kind of hammered this window together, but I can't really see it right now, but there you go. There are gaps all the way around where water leaks in and where we get a lot of wind coming through and pretty much all of these panes are doing the same thing. So it's a process, look, the water still leaks, but we'll be documenting that change as and when the window company comes here. We have been highly recommended from some friends of ours that had windows by them and they survived the typhoon. So it's a pretty good testament to the quality of the work. Hopefully they'll do the same level of work for us as well. <laughs> What's Bobby doing? Bobby, you beast. Move back. Stop bothering people. Hmm? What is it? You want to be played with? Hmm? You want to play some games? Want to play some games, Mummy? And Story, you're going to watch some TV, I think. How does it feel to be back on the sofa watching TV? Good. Yeah? Having some power? Yeah. I miss, I miss watching stuff on the sofa. Yeah? Well, you don't have to miss it anymore. We're good. House just needs a bit of a tidy up and everything will start looking really nice again. We're talking about the storm. Yeah? Really? Yeah. But she said, um, what was it you said? You're happy that we've got everything back. Mm -hmm. We're ha you're happy that you're back here? Yeah. But... Um, uh, I'm happy that everything is back to normal. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Definitely. But we're waiting for the other house to be finished so we can put stuff over there. Yes, like, actually. a lot of stuff in this house that shouldn't be here. That's a good like point. Like the table. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> the, the table. The kayak, the swinging chair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the house is kind of crowded right now because we've got two house worth of stuff in here. <laughs> You're right, yeah. yeah. Story's navigating the TV buttons. How's it feel? Yeah. Good TV? Yeah. Good. I like it. I, I like, like it. the TV. Yeah, it's good. We actually had our friend June June post this over from the mainland, didn't we? Yeah. He did some shopping for us and we, we did like a kind of video or well, photo conference with the, the <laughs> shopping and I said, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And he stuck it on the boat for us and we picked it up oh, the other day. Oh, no, Poppy. She's in beast mode right now. All right, Story and I are going to watch in some TV. Enjoy. It's called Cuphead. Cuphead the Show. Cuphead. Cuphead Show, yeah. You started watching it without me the other day, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I, I just wanted it. I just wanted to show you it because yeah. I thought you would like it. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> see. Show. I'll watch episode one and, and I'll have, give you my opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah? Are you right. about to go and prepare dinner? Yeah, roasted potatoes, baby. Yeah. Your favourite. <laughs> Your favourite, yeah. has been after some roasted potatoes for a long time. Yes. <laughs> Waiting for that oven to have power and now we have power. Yeah. Right, I hope you enjoyed today's update and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.